This may be one of the crazier things I've done. But we're fixing to look inside of the Palomar Engineering's 4 to 1, 1 to 1 choke combo. Balance. I'm curious what it looks like on the inside, and I bet you are too. I look online, and I only found one photo with a quick search. So they got some tape covering. Some of this. Try not to cut the gasket. Now let's just take these screws out. And I'm not too worried about the gasket. I've got some silicone I could put around the bead around the inside edge. Seal it back up if I need to. Here we go. All right. We got some expendable foam, one to one choke, four to one is gonna be in the bottom. Uh, I was expecting us to be able to see a little bit more of, of what was inside, but they got this package where it doesn't move around and I guess these will separate it. But you got your one to one choke on top, and your four to one on the bottom there, like it's connected nicely to each leg and to the PL259, PLSO239. Well, that's what it looks like. Now you know. Now I know. Now we know. I'm not digging all that out because they felt the need to put that in there. Uh, and this is brand new. <laughs> I'm not digging it out. Sorry. A nice gasket. Looks like it's still in good shape we didn't mess that up put that right back down and i could see you may not have been able to tell on the video but i could tell that the four to one ballon in the bottom looked to be an f240 it's a good size this is rated for 1500 watts peak envelope power i need a bigger screwdriver i needed a bigger screwdriver all right, everything looks nice and neat still. We've got our instruction booklet, product manual, made in the USA. All right, gives you information about the ballon and its limits, and it comes with some graphs where they tested it. This is testing with a off-center fed dipole. Looks like there's a chart for 40 through 10 meter loop. One last finishing touch here. We've got one more thing to do before we put this in there. And there we go. We've got our ballon mark. I had a little boo-boo on the uh, kilo of call sign there, but I wasn't paying attention when I filled it off. Now let's go get this thing put in there and take the jet stream off. And we're gonna take a look inside of it. All right, so that was a look at the Palomar four to one, one to one choke ballon combo. Uh, the thing is a lot heavier than the jet stream that I'm going to show you next on another video. All right, so I'm going to spare you the video of me putting the ballon up in the air because it turns out the video didn't show the ballon going up in the air. So whatever. Uh, I cut to the chase. I got the ballon in the air. I got my six meters back. Ten meters sounds better. Uh, so that was the thing was the jet stream ballon that I put on there. It was only good for one to 30 megahertz. So this one was good up through six meters to uh, 54 megahertz. And I got my six meters back. It's working like I expect it to now. And I can push power through it without worrying. 
it has been rocking and rolling pretty good. Now, I took some pictures of the screen on the 7300 showing the scope and the S meter so that you could see the noise levels with the jet stream all the way from 160 up to six meters. And then when I got the Palomar engineers battling up, I took photos again and really there was no difference that I could really tell. Here you go. So that was just a few shots that I took showing the comparison, but really, I can't really tell a difference between the Jetstream or the MFJ or the Palomir in my situation. It may make a world of difference in somebody else's situation, but as far as I go, I gained six meters back and I can run the Ameritron 811H through it without having to worry. Next week, I'm going to bring you a video of tearing apart that jet stream, and I think you're going to want to see the inside of this jet stream ballon. It's really concerning, and uh, I'll never buy another one. So stay tuned. But until then, look right over here for another video that I think you'll like. 73.